this bread, you just eat it like that. You don't need nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. You already have you the cheese, you, you already that. have you the pepperoni. Anything. Good technique to get it how red you want it at first. Oh yeah. Plus this will add really great flavor. I think this is a great, <laughs> I like where this is headed. This is genius. Actually, uh, this is Italian style. So now we've got everything for pizza. We've got cheese, meat, and sauce. Perfect. Right? That's it. That's all we need. Done. There's oil on this, so my hands aren't I'm sticking. Flip it over. So I do a little fold like that, fold like that, mm -hmm. and then I just start tucking in from the bottom. You want to hear that hollow sound? It did. It... Ta 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 ta. Hello guys from my studio Copelli and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be special. I flew all the way from LA, Los Angeles to New York just for... Come here, come here please Mike. For the good stuff. Fantastic oh. guys, meet Mike from Pro Home Cook, one of the best YouTuber and uh, I really follow him for his fantastic bread. But today is about a collaboration, collaboration of a lifetime. Oh, We're yeah. taking my talents with sourdough and Vito's talents with pizza. Mix it up. The first ever, maybe, pizza sourdough. flavored sourdough. Fantastic, man. that's Love what I call it. <laughs> Guys, so look at this bread. So let's get inside this video and uh, guys, so just enjoy watching till the end, right? Thank you, Mike. Let's yeah, go make let's this, uh, let's go show how to make this bread. Okay, fantastic, Mike, uh, and uh, lovely. No, so now yeah. is the moment of the truth. Yeah, now gonna... we make sourdough bread. We your, make the dough. Your magic, your magic. This item. right here, we have the sourdough starter, just like a poolish, very okay. similar to a poolish, but just flour and water. That's all it Can takes. Can you explain a little bit here? Yeah, really, fast how really to make quick. This? Basically. When you add flour and water together, you create the perfect environment, a culture for natural yeast to sort of live in, to collect, to multiply. So you mix flour and water, 100% hydration, equal parts. Then you let that sit, let the yeast and bacteria thrive. Close or open? Close is fine, so okay. it doesn't dry out. There's plenty of good stuff, in the, even in a closed environment. Yeah. Then every day you more. More. Feed it more, feed it more. Like with water and flour? Just water and flour, equal parts. Oh, so feed equal parts all the time. But you have to take out the part? So when it gets too big, mm -hmm. when, you, when you can't fit anymore, then you can dump some out. Okay. Um, but you just keep feeding. Eventually, you'll see bubbles. You'll see, you know, little so bubbles on the side. So 100 milligrams of water, 100 grams of flour. And then tomorrow, yes. 100 grams of flour. You can even start off with 50 and 50, a oh. little bit. Every time, room temperature? Room temperature, let it sit out. Let the culture just start to thrive. Eventually, it's going to start rising. Like, once the yeast collects, it will start raising up. And that's when you know you're in good shape and now you've got a culture. But really <laughs> a strong sourdough culture yeah. will take at least a week to gotcha. cultivate. So, you know, some people have them for years and years and years and years. You can make a good one in 10 days. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, guys, very easy to do. And at this point, how we got million, to this point? There's a million videos on the internet about of it. Of course, Perfect. so Mike, let's go ahead and let's make this magic happen. I can't wait and uh, of course, if you permit, I'm gonna put my own touch after, whenever you're okay. done. I'll let you do that. A little pizza touch. The pizza touch. Look at Just it. like pizza, you yes. know, baker's percentages. We're working with hydrations. Really simple stuff. I guess you're gonna make a high hydration, right? For I'll turn growth. this just so people can see. Perfect. That's the one big difference. I mean, it sourdough is a wet dough. It's a higher gotcha. hydration. So I'm gonna do... Bread flour, of course. Bread flour, you can mix whole wheat, you can do whatever you gotcha, want. Yeah. I'm just gonna do all bread flour for this tutorial. Make it easy for the people. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I mean, my channel is everything easy and yeah. simple. I'm gonna do 750. Food. And the okay. reason I'm doing that is because I have these two proofing baskets right here. 750 grams of flour is too perfect Mixed. loaves for this. But a yeah. lot of people do 1,000 for you know two big loaves, but this is good. We're gonna do the water. Yes, little twist, I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready, what is it? What is it? It's ready. 
Oops. I thought this was genius. It's right here, guys. The tomato, <laughs> the tomato sauce, this might tomato be the paste. First ever truly integrated pizza sourdough loaf. I've made plenty of sourdough pizzas using a sourdough starter, but never a loaf with pizza. Today in it. it's reality. All so, the way. how much do you think we should add into this? To... Go, 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 go. A little bit more. We're gonna make it red. That's it. That's okay. it. Done. Done. So we're flavoring the the water with the tomato paste. Hopefully, this should make it red. Oh yeah, say. all the way from Los Angeles in collaboration with the Pro Home Cook yes. to make the best pizza bread. All right, that's pretty red. Do you think we need it more? Is. It's like a Bloody a Mary. More. Yeah, a little, little more. more, a little more for sure. A little more. I think this is a good technique to get it how red you want it at first. Oh yeah. Plus this will add really great flavor. I think this is a great, <laughs> I like where this is headed. This is genius. Hydration percentage, so yes. simple. We want to do 80%. We take, it's always off the flour, 750 grams of flour that we added in here, times 0.80, 0 0.80, that's it. 600 gr grams of water to get an 80% hydration dough. So we're going to tar this. You got a spoon? 600 grams. Okay, Voila. 600 grams. Now the salt is always around 2% okay. of the flour, which is gonna be just about 15 grams. Well, you, you are really good on math. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. you know, it's not even my math. It's just I've done this so many oh, times okay. that I know. And the final ingredient is just four ingredients. We have our starter. Smells nice and sour. It should smell acidic. I'm just gonna plop it in. Plop so it in. let's go. This is around 150 grams for this amount of flour. I'm gonna do 150 grams of starter. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That's gluten right there. And of course, we, guys, I'm gonna leave. Vito knows a thing or two about uh, of course. Some gluten yeah, yeah. bonding. <laughs> I don't yeah, need oh, to yeah. tell this guy. So now we have this. All we have to do now is feed that again. Feed that again, yes. Yeah. Of course. And then you just. That's your yeast. And we put it back in the fridge right away, right? Dep if you're making bread the next day, you oh, keep no. it out. Okay. You put it in the fridge to slow it down for, you know, making bread in a week. There's nothing wrong with getting in there with your hands to mix everything up. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You know, the thing is, the color will change too when we bake it. So this might look like a light pink. We don't know what it's going to... Let's set a little bit more, oh. just like that, just like that, voila, done. Vito gave me a, a nice pizza demo yesterday. I learned a lot. We learn every day, you know what I mean? I'm learning too today. Okay, so okay, this fine. is ready to go. Now one really quick, let me get this. One quick tip is that right here, this is, that is super wet okay now if you're a beginner at this i would highly suggest not making a dough at 80 percent hydration i would go down to yeah. 70 or 75 percent your your bread's still going to be good it's just a little difficult to work with really sticky dough so maybe your audience what a, no yeah yeah i, I made a um, a video about uh, how to handle a sticky dough so mm. basically when it's really sticky i let it rest for 15 minutes and then yeah always let it rest if it's ever too sticky yeah it's resting it's building gluten right now yes we're building just by resting i'm not even gonna mess with this all i'm gonna do is Humid let top. that rest for 15 minutes and we'll start the stretch and fold process beautiful okay guys mike is not here so i'm gonna go ahead and prepare some ingredients i'm gonna test mike today so i'm gonna see how what he thinks about this so let's go ahead let's cut this uh, pepperoni just like that so this is it it's gonna go inside this is gonna go inside our bread voila the okay. ingredient is ready 15 minutes pass by we're gonna call mike mike come here my friend voila i got some uh, ingredient oh, to put looks, inside the bread we got some provolone and some uh, pepperoni mm. with salami so i certainly have never had that in bread this is the first time even for me so good so you tell me when okay. we're gonna add that so now Voila. we've got our reddish dough now what we're gonna do is 
Yes. We're gonna start folding the dough. You need about three folds in intervals of a half hour in between. Stick approach. You know, a lot of people get so overwhelmed with a wet dough, but when you have, like you that, know what is, I usually... that is wet. Um, when you have water, you really can keep your hands pretty dry. Dry or you know what clean. I use? You know what I usually what? use? I use uh, olive oil. Olive oil. You see, the thing is here. You you want to keep it no olive oil. Yeah, we don't That's want olive oil in our in our dough with pizza. Olive oil is pretty yeah. standard. So my hands are getting a little sticky, but you can already see just by doing some um, so just by doing some slap and folds. Like that's already a, that's already a dough, yeah. which is incredible. It goes from just a complete mess, but we've Still got breaking it. yeah, it's breaking everywhere, which shows us that the gluten development is not strong enough because of all these breaks. But we don't really want to take it too much further. Once it starts resisting, mm -hmm. that's your cue to know like I'm not really getting too much stretch. Definitely. It's starting to resist. We'll just let that sit. Now we'll set the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. And we'll come back, we'll do more stretches, and we're just gonna do that three times. Three times, so 30 yeah. minutes, 30 minutes, and 30 minutes. And then, yes, so then I'm gonna we put... can shape it. So 30 minutes pass by, and uh, the gluten development. Yeah, develop starting to more. get better. So now we're gonna add the the, the pizza. We're gonna make the, the actual uh, pizza. Yeah, bread. so I think what we'll do is we'll kind of... Flip it over. Oh, not flip it. Yeah, just we're gonna put it inside. Spread it out. I do my my own pizza. Right? Yeah. So this is gonna be two, right? Two, two breads. Lo yeah. Two loaves. This will be two. Look at the air. And then it's nice yeah, and strong. Yeah, air's eh? already. Yeah. So it's already developing gluten. So basically, we're gonna put uh, it's a little bit. Good, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now go with the pepperoni, American style pepperoni. Wow. Actually, this is Italian style pepperoni. So now we've got everything for pizza. We've got cheese, meat, and sauce. Right? Perfect. That's it. That's all we need, done. Listen, I've never done this before, so if Good. this doesn't come out, it's not my fault. No, no, this we'll is come your out. Fault just try to keep out. it inside. So now we're just gonna kind of fold. Try to keep it inside. Fold. Yeah, there we go. Fold, 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 fold. Look at that. And Close then it. we'll fold, we'll fold. Keep that ingredient inside there. And then what we need is this. <laughs> it's always a first time, Mike. It's always a first time. This is a... So now that now that it's in there, uh huh, we're gonna make a. Beat. This is when we'll just let that rest. Now every time we've got two more folds. Every time we fold it, yep. it should get a little more incorporated Most, and and a little more smooth. The top part on top. Let that chill. Let's see in thirty minutes. minutes. Yep. See in thirty minutes. Okay, Mike, fantastic. At this point, we have uh, three times three the Three stretch and folds. You can give it just one more since it's just sat one there for time. a second. Perfect. Now, we our need dough contain. is developed, the gluten. So oh, now, I can tell. It's really, yeah, really strong. see the transformation there. And full of air. Yeah, looking beautiful. This is called the bulk rise stage where we really develop the internal air. So can you just do a light grease of the oh, yeah. inside? Just rub your hands, get that greased up. Voila. It's perfect. We're just gonna pop that in there. Boom. Voila. So you can see there, we're just a little over one, one liter, oh, okay? One liter. So we're gonna put that lid on and we're oh. just gonna let that sit until it doubles in volume. So we'll be a little over the two. Two, yeah. Um, and that could take four, five, six hours, depending on how strong your starter is. It's speed things up. We're gonna put it in the oven on the proofing um, temperature, so it should take a few hours. Then we'll come back and we'll fold it up. Fantastic. And we'll- Shape it. Shape it, yes, exactly. I'll see you then. Light on. So, voila. Okay, okay, my fantastic tool. A few um, hours later, as you can see, it's darker here. Oh yeah. So, Oh, look Still how red. pink it is. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna let this kind of fall out there. Since we have that olive oil, it should just plop right out. And you can feel, wow. yeah, a lot. It's soft. Yeah, it's just, you know when it's proofed, it's got Definitely, more yeah. love to it. So now uh, it's the shipping time, right? Yeah, we're gonna, oh, there's our pepperoni. <laughs> do we need those? So we do, but we're gonna do a pre-shape real quick. Fantastic. This okay, will just kind of give it its form. So. 
You want to do one? Yeah, yeah, I'll follow you. Okay. So there's a million different ways to do it. Um, really, one of the easiest ways is just, I mean, we, there's oil on this, it's so my hands aren't sticking. Flip it over. So I do a little fold like that, fold like that. Mm -hmm. And then I just start tucking in from the bottom and just kind of pulling, a pull, yep, pull, tuck, and then pull, and then boom, just like that. Yep. So that's great. Now, why don't we move this a little? Yeah. Coming out. From I mean, the... you know, it's kind of contained. Um, now we'll just let those sit for about 15 minutes. Let the gluten relax. Now, now it's time. To I, make... I like using this sifter. Beautiful. This is the only time we're really adding extra flour. Is Thunder. right on this. Really make this is when you run into issues because if you don't properly flour your bannetons, that wet dough will stick to the side. And then the last thing you want is, you know, two Sticky days and it sticks. So it's always better to go extra. You can always brush off extra if Definitely. you need it. And then this is where you could also put, you know, sesame seeds on Some there. Yeah, like yeah. that's where you would do a topping, but for us, we we've, already have we've the, added a lot the to pizza this. inside. So you can do a little okay. wet. Pull that in, and then what I like doing is when we've got a nice tight up, tight loaf. I you don't even need to tie it off. You kind of tuck in the corners. Just a little. I'll do seam side down, mm -hmm. and that will seal in the seam. Those look pretty good. Look at that! Wow, the first then, pizza sourdough right there. <laughs> and then yep. palm. We can. I'm gonna uh, look at this. I'm gonna okay. put a pepperoni on top. Oh, Voila. for V. Yeah, Vito. 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 <laughs> okay. So now, perfect. So now what you do is you got to make sure that there's no air hitting that to gotcha. keep it nice and moist. Um, oh, well, actually, one more step. Sorry. Yeah. Flour on top. So what I do is I go around the edges and I just pull it in and I flour the, the edges sides. because as it expands, when it hits the edges, we don't want the edges sticking when yeah, it expands. Yeah, yeah, of Okay. So now we'll put it in a bag or, you know, trash bag or plastic bag, whatever you have, that. And then this goes into the fridge. Okay. Overnight, we let this ferment, well, we let this proof. It's gonna Overnight rise a little bit. in the fridge. And as we slow down the fermentation in the fridge, the bacterial activity still is active, so it's gonna gain a lot of flavor. Gotcha. It's just not gonna rise as fast. The yeast slows down. So let's go ahead and let's put overnight okay. in the fridge. So good morning. Yeah, so these the bread came is out ready. Of the fridge, 14 hours. Like you can see. That's perfect. It looks nice and strong. Nice and it looks nice and strong and compact. So, uh, so Mike, we have something you... like this in the oven. Yeah, I saw you fire up the oven. Uh... This is, you know, a Dutch oven. You need something like this for good sourdough because what happens is you put it in there. This is preheating at 500 degrees for about 30 minutes. As the bread rises, it releases steam and the steam gets trapped in the Dutch oven, which then creates that Great. beautiful yeah. crust. Nice. So, I saw this old metal. Where they can get this? Internet, Amazon, everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything you can get on the internet. So this has been preheating 500 degrees. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I like it. doing this on parchment paper. Yes. Just so you know it won't stick and it's easier to transfer. Gotcha. We just flip it. Ooh. So now we have a lot of flour. I don't have a brush, but I would generally just brush that off. Well, maybe you can use a towel, right? With the towel? Like this? We'll try to get it out. Now what yeah, I'll do I is... I can't wait to see the, the pepperoni and the cheese yeah. inside. <laughs> I'll pop that on the pan, and I'm just gonna do one slice right down. Done. Just like that. You can see all of those gluten strands in there. One second. So now I'll take the top, which and is hot as well. Seal it. Seal it in. Boom. Pop Voila. this in the oven, which is very heavy. Ah, You're strong, man. That's so now I know you got to be strong for that. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. Timer, 20 minutes. 
Okay, so you do 20 minutes at 500 degrees, which really fires it up, gets that spring. Max temp, it should be. And then you'll see the big surprise is at 20 minutes, we'll open the oven, oven spring, we'll see that, and we'll take the lid off. That way we can develop a caramelization on the crust. Wow, you can see the melty cheese. The surprise. Yeah, that looks insane, and it's red. <laughs> that looks amazing. Not okay. done yet. So now, we turn the oven down to 450 because it would burn at 500. So convection bake 450. And then we do another 20 minutes. Wow, fantastic, oh my, oh my God. Guys, take a look of this brand. Oh, we gotta get it out of this. Pop wait, 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 wait. Oh man. All right, so let me, let's, let's investigate. Let me put this back in the oven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we gotta preheat this for the next loaf. Oh yeah. I gotta make one, mine too. Look. Oh man, smell this pepperoni. You wanna hear that hollow sound. It did, uh, it... ta, 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 ta. You know, it's... Empty inside. Not empty, but you know, it's, it's light and airy in there. That, fantastic. my favorite thing in the world is just getting up in the, the crevice. <laughs> Guys, take a look. Look at this. Take a look of this, look at this. beast. Show, wow. show that, show that. Oh my God. That is fantastic. unbelievable. Uh, while he's cooking my bread right there, I know, I saw that you are beautiful outside the yeah, we'll go, right we'll go try this outside Day in, after in the outdoors. In the, in the jungle, in the, no, not in the jungle. In, in the, the woods. In the, in the woods. In the woods. So let's go, let's, let's go. go. Still hot. Okay, Mike, fantastic. What do you think? Yeah. I How mean, it come out? Unbelievable. I mean, you know, mine does look a little nicer. <laughs> of course, yeah. Do you see? Your pizzas look better, so. Okay, so let's cut, let's see the inside. Don't, let's not waste the time. Oh man, okay. listen to that. Ooh, I can't wait to see the, 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 the cheese. We'll see what it looks the like. The pepperoni. Crunchy. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. wow. Boom, 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 baby. Take a look. Take a wow. look. Wow. All the bread. That's a thumbnail right there. Yeah, right there. Exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. Fantastic. I mean, the cheese kind of, now it's cooled down. But mine's still warm. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, see if we can get a cheese pull on Vito's just out of the oven. For the best results, always wait. Still oh. Oh, oh. We're hot. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. I mean, yeah. it's melty. I, I want to wow. try a slice. You want to try a slice? Oh, while of it's course. Hot? I want to try, yeah. You just, this brand, this brand, you just eat it like that. You don't need nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. You already you have the cheese. You, don't need you already that. have the you don't pepperoni. Need anything. You got the pizza bread. Best combination. It's a pizza bread. Best collaboration, my friend. Tell me in the comment what you think of this collaboration. Fantastic. I mean. Wow. Tell me what you think of this oh my God. beast. Now is the time. That moment of the truth. It's worth it or it's not worth it. Wow. How is that? Wow! How good is that? It's good, man. It's just good. You don't need nothing. We were thinking to put steak or things. You say, no, let's just eat it like this. You're right, man. It's very subtle, you know? It's, it's not like too powerful or... I think it's good bread. Fantastic. Guys, that's it. Tell me what you think of this, uh, this mix of thing. Tell me what you think of these comments. Guys, if you remake this, please tag me on Instagram, Vito Jacopelli. And uh, what's your name on uh, Instagram, Mike? Life by Mike G. Life by, well, I'll put it right there. Put it right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you at the next one. Mm. Thank you, Mike, for inviting me. And I'll see you. That's so good. Thank you, you for soon. coming here, man. Thank no problem. You. I'll see you soon, guys.